improve a little bit, improve a little bit, make a world difference. It's the first clinic in, in uh, Thailand, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Right now, everyone jump into hair transplantation. Okay, they thought about making money. <laughs> it's a good question. DSI is all advertised right now. I'm not happy with the PIP. I'm not really happy. It's unpredictable. Yeah. Good question that you ask. You will use a laser to do SMP. Then talking about the side effect. Love what you're doing. It's a good question. If you learn, you mean you become a competitor. You take the cap scar here, but the scar is different. The 40 graph is grass in the matter. One third, one third, one third. And gets with the rounds. With the round, everyone will be the round. I am a person who has been bald all my life. Since I was 16 years old, I have tried different treatments, had two hair transplants, got a scar, also tried SMP. As a result, I am wearing a hair system. My mission is to find the best professionals around the world in the price quality category. I do not represent any clinic. I do represent the interests of bald people who struggle daily with the problem of alopecia. From 2020 to 2024, I have already analyzed and visited about 100 doctors and clinics around the world. Participated in three international hair restoration congresses. This clinic visit, as well as interviews with other doctors, is not an advertisement, nor is it my recommendation. For everyone with an alopecia problem, I personally select the best option that will solve the problem depending on your specific case and situation. Hello guys, today uh, I want to show you something different. This is not uh, Istanbul clinic in Turkey. This is Asia and of course Asian cases is quite different from our cases and uh, Same as the uh, doctors different doctors different clinics uh, Today I'm going to Thailand Bangkok clinic for hair transplant Dr. Damkern Patham Vanich's clinic in Bangkok. Thank you to the doctor for making time for me. Today I want to see the clinic and talk to the doctor in person. Well, the clinic seems to be doing well. And quite luxurious cars. You can see that the clinic is not for everyone. All right, let's go see it. Should I leave my shoes here yet? Yeah? The clinic looks like a family clinic. The design of the 2000s, let's say it's very different from today's clinics. Let's check it out. Uh, and here comes the front desk. Hello. May see. Okay, thank you. Okay, we've got a lobby here. And here are the awards, Golden Follicle 2010, an Asian Association 2012, but if I'm not mistaken, the doctor himself is the president of the association. And yes, the doctor's name is hard to pronounce. You can see the wealth of the clinic. At least what's been accumulated over the last 10, 20 years has not only earned a good reputation, but also good capital. Dr. Path received this Golden Hair Follicle Award back in 2010. Um, he's the one who, uh, it's, it's, it's a quite uh, hard award to receive. Oh, you mean the gold, Golden Follicle Award? Yeah. Uh, it's an international society of hair research and surgery decide to award for the outstanding hair surgeon mm -hmm. in the world. In other words, Right. This is about the 30, 30 years of international society. Okay. We received the one in uh, 20, 2010. 2010 in Boston. Okay. Mm -hmm. In other words, one year, one award. Have a golden award for the outstanding and for the research, like a platinum award. Okay. So we have a member of the society, about a little bit over 1,000. So it means it takes take one year, only one. Mm -hmm. So it's it not easy to get an award, so that you know that. Uh, by the way, I, I read that uh, this is the first clinic in, in uh, Thailand, isn't it? It is. My name is Dr. Patum Wanish. 
I started uh, doing hair transplant about two, almost 30 years ago. It's the oh. Beauty Magazine Award. It just recently, the best hair transplant clinic in Thailand here. My background training is in the United States. I train, I'm lucky enough to train with a pioneer in hair transplantation. It's really, really old, but it's at, at that time, 30 years ago, not too many people have an opportunity to learn. And at that time, I recall that. If you want to have hair transplantation, you're going to knock the door because not too many people are doing that. Yeah, it's quite a lot of awards. <laughs> I did this guy, the Hobbit. <laughs> he sent me the photo. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. yeah. Don't work class, he will, he will kick me out. <laughs> Yeah. Really, very really difficult because doctor doesn't want you to learn. If you learn, you mean you become competitor. Very, really, very really difficult. Oh, is it you? That's me. This is a famous doctor, Argentinian, Argentinian doctor, who is doing a very, very famous. I just passed one year and have visited many, many hair office back in the in United States before I returned back home. When they come back home, after being in the U.S. for 20 years, everyone say that, you're not going to make it. <laughs> yes, this is a truly world-class doctor who has made a well-deserved contribution to the hair transplant industry. There's no doubt about it. I gave a speech the first time back in the medical society. Okay, they asked me to talk. And I said, you know, uh, here is a hair transplant. It's, it's, it's available right now, and it's successful. Everyone laugh because at that time, you know, almost 30 years ago, everyone do is it fail. It's get infected, the hair didn't grow or grow. It's just mm -hmm. a scanty growth. So one of the cheap plastic, I just recall that, you know, it's a doctor. You know, gonna last more than one month. You probably go back to the United States, do hair transplants. Not here. I'm sorry for interrupting. When it was? Almost 30 years ago. Uh, so you're back to Thailand? Oh, I'm back, to, uh, yeah, almost 30 years. And after the guy talking, he became my patient here anyway. Two weeks after that, I uh -huh. met him in my office. He wanted to try. I said, no need to try. I can make you look good. <laughs> yeah, so she, Dr. Pat is a pioneer of hair transplant in uh, Thailand. Oh. So on this floor, we have uh, three consultation rooms. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we have a total of uh, uh, two doctors and then uh, two fellows. All right. So this is the other consultation room. Okay. How many surgeries you can perform per, per day? We do two. We've got two of brain theater. Uh huh. Two surgeries per day. Remember, maximum. you got four doctors here. Could you tell me also about the name of the clinic? When I start, I started. My clinic name is Stout. S T O U G S Stout Clinic. The name of my boss back in the United States. And then uh, I went to the meeting back in Hong Kong. Professor Phil, L L L Lawrence Phil, from UCLA, said that uh, you have to change the name. Because no one knows the Stout Clinic in Bangkok changed to your names. That's why I changed to DST is Dom Kern, it's my first name. ST, Dom, Dom is my first name, Dom Kern Hair Transplant, DST. Oh, Stay okay. forward. Oh, we haven't seen for four or five years. Since the COVID 19, we didn't have a uh, meeting for four or five years. Special thanks to Doctor for the invitation as from the president of Asian Association of AHARS. By the way, this is one of the best conference organizations I have ever been to. This kind of forum, what's the main idea? We have society, what we call the Asian Association of Hair Legislation Surgeons. We found this society about 12 years ago, and we have the meeting 
every couple of years. But we did have the meeting for the past five years because of COVID-19 year. So to answer your question, the society will keep the member education, keep the update, you know, what news in hair loss treatment, what new technique in doing surgery, something like that. It's very important because a lot of clinics now around the world, you know, it's growing and growing, but quality, it's not growing. Is there any membership can be guaranteed that the doctor is super professional or not okay not always just a good question what we do we have all the doctors in the world they apply to be a member it's not confined to the Asian doctor so when the doctor send application number one we need to know he's a real doctor it's an MD it's not an MD mm -hmm. number two we need a letter of recommendation that he's a you don't have any problem in their country or something like that say one doctor from example from Singapore we don't know him mm -hmm. so if the recommendation letter that we need from the chief say that this guy is no good something like that, so we know he's no good third we know the background is he the dermatologist plastic surgeon general practice something like that once we know the background it's easy to accept it now we accept all types of specialty we keep the opportunity for the new doctor we want we can train all the doctor in other words in my in my clinic we offer the training for the past 15 years the training full training is one year stay with me he had to assist me at least 70 cases a year okay and he had to send out a report you have to do the research. Okay, it is that research should be published in the medical literature. And when you complete the whole years, no issue, we will release certificate. How about after? Is it possible to control what's going to happen after? Like after five, ten years, I don't know, maybe some something wrong with this uh, doctor? Well, you, you cannot control, you know. Yeah. When they complete it, you know, he had to go on his own. Right. We always train, be safe. If the patient hypertensive, diabetes, not control, just don't do it. Don't make money, do everything. And you need to know when to do, when not to do. It's really important. Not yeah. everything walk in. Yes, yes, you can come in, make right. money, you know. Right. We turn down the patient, many patients. The patient fly in for hair transplantation. And we check the patient. I'm sorry, sir, we, we cannot do it. Okay, I, it's very, very difficult to uh, start it. I recall that I, I, I have to have my boss back from the United States come over and help me a little bit set up the practice, you know, teach all the assistant how to cutting graph, you know, which uh, take about three weeks to settle. And settle up is very difficult part because you cannot get the patient to sign in for surgery because no one believed that it is back in the old days. Okay, until, you know, all of a sudden, right now, everyone jump into hair transplantation. Okay, they talk about making money. Okay, that's why you can see that in Turkey, in any place in the world, India, mm -hmm. in, in Thailand, you know, from a few clinics now, we, I think we got maybe 50 clinics or maybe more than that, I'm not aware. Okay, we doing exactly about uh, starting the practice and I'm together working at the hospital. Okay. I can't mention the hospital here. I'll, I'll work many hospitals in, in, in Thailand. So, uh, first of all, you consult uh, uh, the consultation here. here. Consultation here first. Uh, and then in the same day or the next day? No, we have the schedule. We the book for three, four months. We usually do a, a consultation to the video. Here. Mm -hmm. uh, we explain to the patient, you know, the detail, you know, like uh, what type of hair loss that he has, mm -hmm. the physiology of hair loss, the hair cycle, and we go on, you know, uh, take a complete physical examination easily, and then draw the hairline, and then give him an uh, estimate how many grams that he needed. Mm -hmm. And then we show him the technique that what we, we, we do, and then we select together what technique is it, like a FUE, or you want FUT. Okay. Mm -hmm. And we need talking about the complications, you know, of the 
hair transplantation, something like that. When the hair gonna grow, you should be patient before the hair grow. After four months. But how many doctors now you have in the clinic? We have. Clinic? How many doctors do I have now? I have uh, Dr. Paso is my associate doctor here, mm -hmm. and Dr. Pui and Dr. Koi is the fellow. Dr. Koi is gonna finish a uh, training. Mm -hmm. uh, this month is the last month, one year training. One year training. Yeah, Dr. Pui is going to be uh, complete in the next uh, couple of months. Mm -hmm. So we have the fellowship training endorsed by the International Society of Hair Restoration Surgery back in the United States. You mean affiliated? You mean when they finish it? They get a backup from the society, well trained. Perhaps, uh, for, there are different methods that we can use are ensure that we are able to close the wound after. We use this retention using low, lower trichophytic closure and adapted to minimize the post operative pain. That's get the patient from the hospital, get the patient from the first sources. I can survive well here for the past uh, 20 years, reputation. Uh, well, uh, before I uh, start do surgery, uh, one year training, isn't yeah. it? There is any specific, specific education that needed for, um, for do that? Uh, or? All over the world, you know, when you become a medical doctor, you know, you can do anything you want. Mm -hmm. Become a medical doctor. Can I do cataract surgery on the eye? I, I have to do it if I have to, but I don't want to do it. Mm -hmm. I'm, on, I'm, I'm honest. Can I do a heart surgery? I have to, you're a doctor, but I don't want to do that. I don't want to kill the patient. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Now, many, many countries back 10 years ago, 10, 15 years ago, not allow any doctor to do it except a plastic and dermatologist mm -hmm. to do that. Okay. It's the same in China so or, or not? No, right now, no. all the world, you know, they, so they no open requirements. up. Not Here required. They they resist for a while, but that that you know is cannot go to, because the MD means you can do anything you want. Yeah, right. But within your capacity here. But in say Singapore, you need the training. Even though you have American board of hair restoration surgery, you still cannot practice until you get a training. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the training is more important than the board. Anyone can take the board, but not everyone can go into the training. Mm -hmm. I got a call from Sing Singapore uh, Medical Council uh, five years ago. There's one doctor practicing illegally. Mm -hmm. she, she's a doctor, but she hasn't been trained. But what's she gonna do? So I said, you know, she have to come and train. Mm -hmm. And they asked the requirement for how long. Uh, Singapore said maybe at least six months. Mm -hmm. So to me, you know, with the society, it's at least one year. So they allow the Singaporean, that doctor, to come and train for six months. Six months. Because six months, they, at least they know that, you know, <coughs> what's going on with the hair training. So mm -hmm. not, a, not everyone, but, uh, you, but you cannot prohibit it, the family practice, general mm -hmm. practice, not to practice. To be a doctor, better than to have a non-doctor perform surgery like a black market. Uh, yes, it is. <laughs> and so here, you, can, you close your eye here. It's a laser, I usually cut it. It's a bit light. Can you close your eye? It's a laser here. And bend down a little bit. So I used to go to do like a on the alley, it's one third, one third, one third. So I think you look good, I think I would do here. So this laser, you can change the shape. Yeah, right. You know, do everything you want here. This is young age group, but become mature, you know, the hell I move and the way up. See, this probably suit him first. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. I draw the line. It's the but, but it's very close. close your eye. So they say. This is natural hair. Mm -hmm. And you can see the angle here. Yep. Some some one this and one the angle. They want to flail it a bit we just close. It's a preference. It's mini shape. More natural go up like that. A little bit curve with a lot of patient like this. 
What do you think? Is uh, depend of the race and uh, correct? Uh, yes, the ratio. can be different, right? And, and when you see that, we have, and then we see by tracing the Elliot I'm going to transfer. So we need to give him how many grams he require if you want the hell eye like this. Get the empty one. Mm -hmm. See so now. And give him an estimate. He's going to ask me how many crowd that he need. Do you accept anyone who come to you and ask about hand transplant? Or? We do not accept everyone. You know, uh, we we screen a patient. Here, is the patient a good candidate? Does have any illness, any sickness? We have most common that we don't want to do is a HIV positive patient here. Okay. However, if the patient who have HIV positive, but the have the blood test, is everything is all negative, and with treatment, CD4 is very high, and uh, there's no cell in the body, that's why we're we willing to do it, but mm -hmm. at the hospital, at the clinic. How about hepatitis? Hepatitis, we do, we all, we all, all the staff, my staff and my employee all have hepatitis B, B vaccine, not C. Mm -hmm. We do hepatitis B, C, and HIV test before, Mm -hmm. So we know that. Okay. So if get infected, we still do that. We have Hep C positive. Okay. We still do that. And they usually perform uh, uh, FE and FET, right? Uh, we 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 will discuss with the patient uh, what which technique that best suit for him. And can move up or make up below. It's, it's up to him. Mm -hmm. And then let's take a look here. What do you think? Which one is better? So with an like angle or with 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 the round two options. I guess with the round. With the round, everyone wants with the round. Yeah. Many of my subscribers also wondering about like Siberia uh, and the head transplant. Uh, the what? I'm sorry. Siberia. Siberia. Yeah. yeah. Like, is it possible still like perform surgery or or it can be uh, some complications? I don't. Siberia? We we have done. Yesterday we did one FUE. He said seborrheic dermatitis is mm -hmm. all over the back here. Yeah, we we don't have any problem. We have done a lot here, but seborrheic uh, seborrhea have need to be treated uh, before. You know, but to some be no problem. you know some. It's uh, not going to cure here. It's come back and forth, back and forth. Yes. But we, anyway, even people not so seborrhea is it's minor. With psoriasis, even worse. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We have done with psoriasis. We got no problem. Hmm. In the old days, we scare when you have big pads of psoriasis to get in. Mm -hmm. And we got one patient that uh, if I don't cut out, you know, I have nothing left. So I went in, cut the whole thing, and transplant. There's no psoriasis graft to the, the other area. And we do more and more. After five cases, mm -hmm. I report that, you know, you can go ahead and, you know, cut into the psoriasis and grafting without any problem. It's been published. Now we're going to measure. This side. So in here, we go with scratch in the matter. Geographic, we're going to counting how many scratch in the matter. Mm -hmm. We have a grid that we're going to count. And then the doctor is going to call right now here how many grabs that he needed. Then we're going to call how much hair he got yeah. on the back here. Um, how about density? What do you think? I mean, it yeah, yeah. Oh, we're going to tell you a minute here. Oh, all right. Which he compute right now the density there. So, uh, the total surface area that we going to do a hair transplant is 51 square centimeter. Okay. So we, on average, what a doctor do, like a 40 graph per square centimeter. 40 times here is 2,400 graphs. If you want higher doctor, you can go 45 or 50. If majority of the doctor believe that you go higher than 50 graph per square centimeter, survival is not going to be too good. Mm -hmm. Okay, so these are the highest that we're going to do here. Mm -hmm. on, on average, you don't have to go higher. It depends on the gentleman that walk out. He's got a super curly hair. So the number, you said even 35, 
he should look good. Mm -hmm. But he had a straight hair, so he might need higher density than the curly what hair. What would you suggest? I would do, you know, what you still, is 40 still look good? Remember, you're still young here. Your hair loss is not complete yet. You still be sitting further. The hair that you have here eventually will completely Do you think this gone. is hair loss or that's genetics? Genetic hair that's loss. That's probably genetic. Genetic hair loss. Yeah. Yeah. It's progressive. It's In other words, yeah, it's progressive. You're going to come up. Now, uh, so, in other words, you know, you will need between uh, 2,000 to maximum 2,500 to look good in one go. And yeah. then I'm going to count how many, how many hair you have on the back. So Dr. Coy is going to, you usually trim the hair, but you see really, really good hair that you have. But difficult to count until we trim the hair. It's a lot of two hair crap. Better yeah. trim the hair. This is no good. Mm. It's too, too long to count. It, it trim the hair, not not a lot. It's just a, it's just a fraction here. Okay, it's two, two, three mils. If, if it's it's much, necessary. It's, you can see. it's only just trying. You can't see it when, you, when right. you're done. You got a good hair. Three hair crap. Two hair crap. Three hair crap. A lot bundle. We call bundle mean double, triple hair. Better than average. You take a look back at the part, at the front part. Baby hair, you see that? What is it? Is it the, it's the baby the hair? Ball place? It's the ball place, yes. Oh, so I still have hair there. You still have, no, when, when the doctor moved toward the center, you have hair, but it's toward the balding part. Mm -hmm. The balding part, just baby hair only. What do you think about minoxidil and uh, finasteride? I mean, from one side, from another side, so many opinions and. Uh, what minoxidil, uh, okay, uh, minoxidil and finasteride is standard medical therapy for genetic hair loss, okay? Minoxidil came over more than 50 years ago, you know, with a tablet, with low the blood pressure, and then become like a topical. Come with 2% for women, 5% mm -hmm. for men, and then a lot of irritation become like a foam tie, okay? So when you use foam, this thing that you get itchy or irritation, it become minimized. Okay. Now, the effective of the lotion or the foam tie, you know, is only 15, 20 percent. Mm -hmm. So the patient, when they use that, the doctor, I've been using the whole years, two years, three years, I didn't see much result. Now, now when you take about oral, min oral minoxidil, the effective is almost 60 percent, 65 percent. When they take it by mouth, Oh, doctor, I'm so happy. It's 60%, not everyone. 30, 35, just stopped the loss, but did not gain the hair back. So I mean, the effectiveness of oral minoxidil is better. Then talking about the side effect. The side effect is the concern to the patient because it could be a long-term commitment. Side effect of the minoxidil is more toward number one, body hair. So when you keep body hair, uh, minoxidil to uh, Indian, you know, like uh, mm -hmm. South a Asian, you know, Caucasian have a lot of body hair. They hate body hair. They don't want any more. Okay. You're increasing more body hair. They don't like it, even though they know it's going to grow hair. Mm -hmm. But anyway, make a long story short, it's, it's become almost almost a standard. But the FDA has not approved yet to be used in hair loss. But majority mm -hmm. of the doctor been using minoxidil oral to treat men hair loss, it is minoxidil. The second downside minoxidil is water retention and swelling. Okay, Finasteride is a hormone work different from minoxidil. Minoxidil works in mitochondria in the cell level. Okay, you open up the potassium channel. Now she's counting right now. Eighty-four. Eighty-four. Okay. Usually really high on the back, but when you move toward the ear the density could be less. Okay, so 84, we do only 40, I think it's good enough. Okay, but to get a better density, it be 50. I only need 40 out of 84 that she got. Yeah, you don't need no one in the world. Don't let them get 80, grab with scratch in the matter. Say, next 10 years, you lost all the hair. You wouldn't utilize already here, no more. <laughs> mm -hmm. Because if you do it, 80 grab with squash, 80 times 40 times 50, 
Fort Ham graph. Fort Ham graph been using for a small is useful. And survival could be less. Majority be killed by, you know, making a side. Okay. In other words, first class in the matter, if you make a cut, you know, 80 cut, this skin gonna die. <laughs> mm -hmm. The hair not gonna survive. There've been eight women already in the old day here. 20, 25, first class in the matter, 30, 35, 40. On average, 30 growing well here. When you go higher, the survival become less. Like, like you plant a tree. Yeah. Okay, so I already can estimate, you know, then, then I'm going to discuss with him regarding the technique here. You can always go back, you know, like what cause of the hair loss. Okay, because it depends on the DSD with the genetic. You have to worry, the hair loss, you have three factors. Mm -hmm. Number one, with genetic hair loss. Number one, you know, you must have balding gene here to be bald. Number two, the DST. DST is everyone have that, but everyone doesn't have balding gene in the hair follicle. And number three is timing. So back 15, 10, 15 years ago, you got full hair of hair. But the finasteri working on the hormone that I showed you, anti-DST, is straightforward. Minoxidil is not straightforward, it is straightforward. 80 to 85 percent stop the hair loss, and some grow the hair back. But the downside is uh, men doesn't like erectile dysfunction, depression, suicide, you know, gynecomastia, yeah. testicular pain. A lot of problems come up, and the erectile dysfunction, it might be permanent. That's why many, many men mm. shy away from using phenacillin. Mm -hmm. it, it is good. I have done using, uh, a, we call have one patient from Hawaii, police officer. He did hand to hand in the front, cleaning the crown, you know, just try this medication. Mm -hmm. He flew back from Hawaii, six months, home is high, he's got full head of hair. Oh. Okay. The hand to hand band worked great here, just finesse line, make it full and back. Mm -hmm. okay. When it worked, it worked great, okay. mm -hmm. but he didn't have side effect. But do you have to use all the all your life? Yeah, right? you have to use all your life. When you stop, the hair loss become. Mm, so, yeah. and then there'll be Dutasilai is a second generation of Phenacilai. It's uh, mm. Phenacilai cut down the DST maybe 60%. Dutasilai cut down the DST 90%, so it should be effective more. Mm. So when my patient didn't work well, you know, with Phenacilai, it changed back to Dutasilai. It's only two medications that are really effective in the medical treatment of hair loss. But after, when, how old are you right now? 35. 35, maybe 30 years, you know, this is start to lose hair, okay? This is, the, the hair, the hair follicle is, is hair follicle have a genetic program to go or not to go. Yeah. The mapping already, you can't control. Mm -hmm. This guy control that, the DST, and the balling gene together, and timing. Say, 10 years from now, you're not gonna look like that. The bomb has been set up here, then you lose more hair. Mm -hmm. So that's why medication, you need to stop that. When you stop, hopefully, they're not going to come back to become like baby hair. You recall when you're 12 years old, your beard is made with white hair. <laughs> and you when growing up, become big. This is the process reverse. Okay. Okay. Okay, when you grow up, the beard hair becomes big, but the, the, the hair does not become baby. How about, like, for example, a patient with a big stage of lipase, like six, seven, and if you see, like, it's not enough donor area, but he still really want to do that, what you can do in this case? What do you mean? It, it, there's like, no, no hair in the back? Not much. You, you understand, like, yeah, it will okay. not cover all, all, we, all we the have, area. We have. Uh, this is a good question here because many patients, you know, come, come back, you know, with devastating having four town graph, six town graph in the back is is just not much left available. Mm -hmm. And the hair didn't grow real well. You still at least need a six, seven, eight graft, you know, to complete. You can do it. So what you can do offer here, number one, is uh, happiest SMP, you know, shape the hair SMP. Mm -hmm. It's a two you can do. You also can do here. SMP. We do SMP, but we limit it. We don't want to do an entire scalp SMP. We just do right now. I just came up. 
mm. S&P on the scar tissue in the back mm. here. Okay. I saw your S&P on, on that, but the, your S&P have like a line here. We don't do yeah, like a line. Yeah, yeah. We have to blend well here. Well, I did it like seven years ago. Yeah. It, not much options to do that. And I asked the person to and make the color, eyebrows. The, the color is very important. You have yeah, to match well. Yeah, and color is different. I mean, after yeah. sometimes it's getting blue or yeah. green. Yeah. So this yeah. is a problem also. Uh, what kind of ink do you, ha do you use here? I use, I, I went to see Dr. Rasman, you know, in, in the U.S good friend here. He's the one who's pioneered SMP. He have done it almost over 10 years. He's well written a lot of uh, textbook, talk a lot regarding SMP. Now he will use a laser to mm -hmm. do SMP. Mm -hmm. Don't use a needle, use, use laser right now. Uh -huh. A little bit more expensive. Interesting. You mean shooting. The least I'm saying that use, use a needle sometime, you know, uh, when you're lying down, first you don't know what needle the doctor use. This might be contaminated, unused or used with other doc with with other patient. But so with the laser, the laser cannot do any harm here. When they, when they're shooting, uh, the color just go up, you know, with the light, mm -hmm. light the way. So the needle will not contact, you know, with your skin. So the cross contamination, they get virus infection or HIV, this can be almost zero. A bit more expensive. It just start to come up uh, yeah, two years ago. Okay. This is for uh, all life or just for a few years? Uh, this no, this is ongoing right now because of uh, everyone's scared to have contact, uh, hepatitis, contact mm -hmm. with the HIV. Mm -hmm. But what we use, we use just one needle, each one patient we throw it away. At the clinics I go to, I always try to get promo codes to make your transplant also cheaper. But remember that you can't choose a clinic based on promo codes and discounts alone. Just like an expensive clinic doesn't always mean a good one, and vice versa as well. This is why I always recommend that you contact me so that I can advise you based on my experience and you get the best results. The 40 grab is grass in the matter. And then we proceed with, uh, okay, we, we have done. We did that with the laser, hell I decide here. We did give you explanation how many graphs you need. And then we do another look on the static, sedation. And then we come back with it, tell you the techniques, two techniques here, one is FUE. And then I will go fast here, we exactly one by one. You can see the follicle, how does it look here? When you look at that. And then it's a blind technique, but the chance to try and set the hair root is quite high compared with the other technique. And this is, the, everyone said there's no scar here. All the technique have scar here, but the scar is different. The FUE scar is like a, this scatter, you know, it's, this view, it's not like a one line here, like a FUT. You can see the scars all over. You've got 2,000 grab, you have 2,000 dot. At least they have to eat 2,000 grab here. We show you the day one, because people will always ask, how you look day one, how you look day nine here. It is different patient here. Okay, number of grab here. I go fast. And the second one is the FUT. If your teeth is cutting here and put it back together, in good hand, it's got almost invisible, really, really small. Yeah. Good thing with FUT is uh, the hair above and below is safe for the future. If you do FUE, remember I showed you before that. You walk up and down, up and down. For the second goal, a little bit more difficult. Third goal, even almost impossible to do it. But with the FUT, you can miss number one. Next year, come back. You can cut a bit more here. Next year, come back, you can cut a little bit lower. Or you can do FUE later, because it's still untouched. Okay, I'll talk to you what the stiff sky is this before, and we'll take a stiff come out when it heal. This is scar. Can be small, can be a little bit large, depending on many, many factors. And the FUT, we need to grab cutting that is the more, most more difficult part, you know, with the microscope. But the beauty is it's under the leg visualization. So the transaction can be minimal. 
Okay, you see the quality of the graph compared with the FUE. Graph FUT compared. E I mean you pull the graph out, you, it's not much supporting tissue. With the T, you got more control you like that. And then I show, but I, I don't think I, I show it you don't take this before and after. This is, uh, I said, I'm making, I'm making a hole, and my assistant is just in placing graph here. I see two, three, four people to make it faster. Okay, this is placing graph here. The technique that we use and other doc, it could be different. It's after surgery. In which case is better to use CFT method than uh, the they, they, if they're all good. The board technique I always talk to the patient. Mm -hmm. they, they have their own role here to use each technique. Mm -hmm. I think you already have FUE, FUT. Right. Okay, you DHI. have to tell that. What do you think about DHI method? DHI? Uh, DSI is all advertised right now. My big respect, I always have a lot of respect for those doctors who regardless of situations always tell the truth even if it sounds sharp to their colleagues. And if it's good, you know, it should be a standardized. Mm -hmm. It's just not true. standardized here. We have seen a lot of, everyone saw a lot of bad results from DSI. Uh, we have seen a few, many families we report. We are explain group of doctor chair each other. It's mm -hmm. over advertised, you know. It's try to get, but basically it can be a it's a simple FUE implanter and a different technique, you know, in sitting or lying down. Mm -hmm. I mean, take it out, implant immediately, something mm -hmm. like that. Okay. Mm, yeah. I think you look at not the result, you know, who get the best result. DHI. You think BSI get the best result? Mm, to be honest, not. But in some cases, like if, for example, you have a hair, but uh, you have to like m get more density somewhere here, I think DHI is quite good. But the DSI is, is, is like a FUE. Yeah, right. But uh, when you open the channel, you can uh, kill the, like, in other follicles, right? It's a manual. You, you, yeah, manual, but you don't use razor. Less chance that you cut another hair. Only no, in this ev case. Ev everyone know that the, the, the chance, even though it's big, chance to kill is there, but it's, it's unlikely to kill. Mm. That is like a, a hit. We call the hidden transaction mm -hmm. by the FUE. You know that can cause just one get mm. in and, and damage the neighbor hair. Yeah. So you have to get like a, a the punch, get smaller size. Yeah, smaller size. Okay. This many many technique. I mean, it's not. It's go to Rome. It's not one way. You can go by air. You can go by boat. You can go by train. Yeah. yeah. You can you and can drive. In any case, need any a case. special yeah. special way to. Yeah. Get Everyone, results. you have to cater the patient. You know, patient per patient. That's true. Yeah. You know. Uh, if you tea, you know, you, you, you've got a long sky here, but you save a lot of hair above and below. When you get the FU, you know your hair is really thin. You don't have the line, but really thin. Yeah. Okay. When you come back to the second goal, it'll be a little bit difficult. But they're all good. In good hand, they're all good. If the scalp is really tight, you cannot do FUT. Mm -hmm. Okay. If, if the, the pace scalp is very really tight. Really tight, I cannot move. <coughs> You should be loose here. I did one uh, last week, 70 years old. Can't even move. Okay, mm -hmm. I mean, you know, it's not a good candidate for FUT, mm -hmm. to be FUE. You have the gray hair, gray hair because you can't see. Better to do it with FUE. When we look at the patient, you know, we don't look, I just get example. The patient that you saw just walk in with the curly hair. Yeah. I saw him three years ago when he, uh, he's 22. Or 21 years old, he's sitting and said, "Well, you're not mature enough to do hair transplantation. It's, even though you're sitting, I'm not sure how much hair loss you're gonna be. Mm -hmm. You know, come back. You know, when 25, mm -hmm. but he's 24, almost 25 right now. He just dropped in. Like, after, in, in other words, you know, we don't do everyone walk in. The age count. You know, I do don't much want to do below 25." I want the hair loss to mature, except completely bald. 
Mm-hmm. Okay, that he doesn't, he cannot work something like that. I do 75 years old, 85 75. years old, 85. even even 90, 96 years old. But 96. I, do I want to do 96? No, I don't want to do 96. But the 96 years old begged me to do it. Really? Did he's, you ask him why he yeah. really want to do that? <laughs> it's a good question. It's Caucasian from England. Okay. Living here for 40 years. He is by himself. He have to earn money by himself. Yeah. He said, Doc, I used my face. Now I lost my hair after I have a face lift. Uh -huh. I said, make the grow the hair long so you can go over there. He said, no, it won't work. Just make a long story short. I did, I did him and he came back. I keep the history. 99 years old, he came back, doctor, one more. <laughs> I want to celebrate when 100 years old here with full head of hair. I said, I'm sorry, sir. <laughs> Can't do it here. We, when we look at this, we look, we, you, you have to know that, you know, like your friend, you know, in the next 10 years, he's going to lose more hair. Yeah. The guy that you saw walking, I, I informed me that you're 24 years old, almost 25. How we do here, but eventually you can lose all the hair back. We have to plan. Don't do too many, many graphs here in the front. You might go to Turkey, four time grab down here. Yeah, you, yeah. You lose all the hair in the back. You gotta save the hair for the future. You mean hair bang, you, you know the word. Of course, all the beard hair to, to donate in case he run out of the scalp hair or body hair, something like that. Yeah, by the way, it's a very interesting question. You also use the hair from the body, right? And uh, like how often do you use this kind of We use, graphs? this man we use a lot. Yeah? The reason we use a lot because it's inadequate scalp FUE. We. we cannot take too much. We have to ask, you know, to maybe get, we get one thousand with VA. For the chest and the back and the abdomen, you know, a lot of report is the growth rate is not good. I'll definitely tell you later about body hair transplantation, but it's certainly not suitable for everyone, and not in all cases. The main thing is not to make it worse, and unnaturalness is worse. 65% of the hair is on the falling faces. 65? Yeah, so if you get up, you know, if you, you don't do it, you know, shave and do it, you know, maybe only 30% will grow. Mm-hmm. Okay. Hmm. So and many, many doctors do not totally agree. I'm on the line right now here. They've been fighting between mm -hmm. the Indian guy want to do body hair. He said working real well. But the guy from the U.S. has been done many, many years. And it, it, some, some patients do growing well, but majority didn't grow well. So mm -hmm. they reluctant to do. They just lose the choice or only the beard hair. And uh, they all look different. Uh, hair dyeing is very. Telogen ratio is buried. Beard hair is the best. Mm. Not the chest, except no choice. Can you estimate approximately, for example, from my... Uh, you can view? have, you know, you have two towns, three towns, even four towns. It's just amazing. From here? Yeah. Really, it's a lot. You mean eliminating. Oh. Ah, okay. okay. Not to leave. You can easily get out one thousand without seeing any deficit. Went yeah, we did many patients last, last, last month, this month, not last month. Mm -hmm. he went, I get, get one, one, almost one tail and he said, after two weeks, it still looked the same. Mm. Okay. Yeah, here it's almost invisible. Yeah, okay. mm, and the yeah. scar is not going to be scar like you see the white dot. They don't have white dot here. You mm -hmm. have beard hair, yeah, transparent? No, I didn't bring anything from here, and so I'm asking, you see, I still have... I, I mean, I shave today, but usually okay. it's quite a lot, okay. and, but it's also white hair already. Yeah. And more beard hair grows hair. better. Yeah, the beard yeah. hair, the scalp hair, the yeah, same. Yeah, it's look actually very it's good. It's the same here, but yeah. this chest hair, back hair, abdominal hair is uh, different. How about difference uh, between, like, Asian hair and, uh, for example, his hair? But his hair, it's not, like, very you, Caucasian. You, you hair time. like uh, Asian hair, you know, it's not... not much different. Yeah. Mine is like Asian hair. Yeah. You hair like Asian hair. You see sticking out? Yeah. The so most it's... difficult hair could be an African type of hair here. You just, it's like a C shape, you know. All right. Here. It's the most difficult here. Okay, to do that. The transaction that is higher. Because you, when you, when you get in, you don't know where the root is. But you know, with the new t t technique, you know, with the hybrid punch, the transaction can be very small right now. 
the FUT is on the scaling discount. We start from 110. If you do more here, you know, it's uh, lower to about 95 baht per graph here. So if you do baht per, baht per, per graph. graph right. So if you do 2,000, it's 190,000, mm -hmm. 191 baht. So if you do FUE, it's 118 baht, 118. is about uh, 20% higher. How about like uh, duration of the operation? It's the same time if you. Uh, it's the, the same, same time. In the old days, if you it'd be slower, but right now, you know, almost the same here. Almost the same. Yeah. We have FUE, we can do almost a one town graph, almost an hour. Mm -hmm. If you do two town, maybe two and a half, three hour. FUT is almost the same. But the, 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 the downside of the FUE is sometimes the, the surgeon fatigue. Over, over done here when I mean I'm doing myself here. Yeah. I keep doing hours, hours and hour, two hours, three hour, four hours, <laughs> things like that. It's not like F F U T, you know, we just do part and then we shelling. I cut it out and stitch my assistant cutting help me do that. I'm also wondering do do also surgery like in two days, uh sometimes, like if you See, like it's kind we of do when we uh, in the old day, you know, with the FUE, uh, we said in more than two towns, I want to break into uh, maybe two consecutive day. But now with the best machine, it's getting better. We we able to offer four town grab in, in one go. Mm -hmm. Okay, but if higher than four town, we shy away maybe two more days. Maybe uh, today we do a four town scout. Maybe next day we do be at hair and at a one thousand or something like that. In this case, like uh, about donor area, you just uh, extract from one part of the donor area. The whole thing. Uh huh. Yeah, if you get three, four thousand, you, 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 if you focus Not like in Turkey in in one place, you can see like a TV screen. That's why you see a lot of people. Yeah, walk, right. Walk out. Yeah. I but mean, you, but I think the concept of FU is uh, homogenized. I mean, making uniform looking, maintaining the whole thing, <laughs> the what you like. No one like a diffuse thinning, but that's the what you better than have a lot of hair, no hair in the back. Yeah, right. It look fake. Yeah, I'm. I'm curious because like if uh, do surgery in two days, like after one day, it's still. I mean, it's kind of. Mm, oh, we do. We, well, we, we do sometimes. Yeah, it is about many many years ago. That you usually maximum about two thousand, more than two thousand, come back next day. Mm -hmm. We do half, and uh, the next day I come back, do another half. Okay. Do you use also microscope in uh, we EFE? Do. We use the, we use microscope. Okay, let me look the whole one. Okay. I, I just excite myself, you know, but the pooling is my assistant. In other words, when I punch the graph, my assistant pull, and then punch and pull, yeah. punch and pull. Ah, so, but the first part, it's, uh, it's you, it's you. Yeah, right. Oh, because nowadays not many doctors do this. They're delicate to a technician, right. Right? because technician would be probably better. We have a total of um, six floors in this building. This will be the third floor. So, so this is the small operating room. I mean, no, this is the big, big one. Oh, this is the big yeah, one? Yeah, you got two, we got two. We, we haven't used that yet. Mm -hmm. okay, yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. yeah, we, have, we, do, uh, we have two rooms. He's on the third floor and the fourth floor. It's exactly the same. Same layout. Mm -hmm. Okay. How many person usually participate in uh, surgery? Almost 12. <laughs> Almost 12? We have a lot. <laughs> and what is the maximum, by the way, uh, that you transplanted? Per day. Per day. FUE. Oh, FUE or FUT? Well, both. Then. Uh, both, we have done, I think, you know, Pioneer B. Jerry Wong, we have done six, seven town graph. Six, seven Six, thousand. seven town graph in, oh. one, in, in one go. We have done maximum at only one patient, six town graph. We have done uh, 5,800, 5,500, over mm -hmm. 5,000. That is 10 years ago. I don't do any more here. We don't, we have, we don't have because the sky is a bit wider. It's too long, but it's always good. Mm -hmm. I saw Dr. Jerry Wong in Vancouver. It is 15 years ago. We did a workshop. Uh, he bring his patient that he did 
15 patient city. Everyone have done like 5,000, 5,000, 6,000. Yeah, everyone happy. It took 14, 15 hours, but they happy, it's one go. <laughs> so then on your right is the waiting room? Waiting room here, patient sitting. Mm -hmm. And we have shampoo here. And then, yeah. Same, third floor and second floor. We shampoo the patient next day here. Mm -hmm. Of course, there are many, many, many like vitamin for hair, like a skin, hair, skin, nail, noodle fold, you know, you can name it. Many, many in the market. Hmm. I got plenty in the email flooding, making it from plant-based, something like that, to grow hair. So shampoo, a lot of shampoo being advertised. Caffeine shampoo, nice raw shampoo, and, and, and it, but majority of doctors will stick to a keto conosol shampoo. Mm -hmm. okay. Oh, these other rooms are just like um, if we have like treatments, we do PRP, uh -huh. laser treatments, and then we have packages that uh, we do the PRP after the operation. PRP, as you know, you're just talking about Paul. Oh, yeah, we, yeah, we do. By the PRP. way, what do you think? I'm not happy with the PRP. I'm not ha really happy. It's unpredictable. Mm -hmm. Okay, we, we using that. We, we check a few days ago. Uh, he afraid that the hair loss. He doesn't want to have shock loss. So we inject PRP before, but it, it still have a shock loss. Yeah. He wanted to have to go faster, but it still didn't go as fast as he expected. I got only one patient that really affected. He had active hair loss, men. He want to have a baby. He doesn't want to take any oral medication. I told him to take oral, but he said, no, I'm gonna have a baby. I don't want to take any medication. Mm -hmm. So I inject him one time, you know, the hair loss stopped. But the hair didn't grow back, but the acute hair loss stopped. Hmm. So I gave him three shots, he's, he's very happy, but he didn't go to hair back. Fat graph here, a lot of fat graph we knew, doing. We've been using, we're not happy that we used 15 years, 10 years ago, we're not happy. It's exactly the same layout. Mm -hmm. Shampoo with the laser after surgery. Yes, we have. How important to make plan, uh, like exact plan before every surgery? I'm asking that because in Turkey, uh, it's very um, like common case when patients just come to the clinic, they just look at that and said, oh, okay, just do it. I can say it's no exact plan. Mm -hmm. Like you have this stage of lapage, you need maybe one or maybe two surgeries, mm -hmm. like what you can get after one surgery. I understand that. The yeah. planning is, is a critical for each patient. It is very important to analyze the situation completely. What do you have? What age? What diseases? What dynamics of hair loss? What donor area? And so on. We always consider all this in my detailed consultation one-to-one. -one. We then make a plan based on all of these factors. The third point is the modeling of the front line. The front line is very important in a hair transplant, it's something you have to live with for the rest of your life and your appearance will depend on it. For some, it doesn't matter, but until you regret not thinking about it earlier. The next thing is choosing the right clinic and the right doctor for your specific case because clinics are different from each other, just like doctors can be different from each other in their specifics. Some doctors are very good at covering large and huge areas of baldness. Some doctors emphasize the front line specifically and create those unique front lines that are indistinguishable from heads that have never undergone a hair transplant. Some doctors are great at increasing hair density in areas where you have sparse hair. For each individual case, you need to choose the right clinic and the right doctor who will properly implement our plan, and you'll get your unique result. How about, how about eyebrows? Eyebrow we use most likely to be on, on the skull here. From what part uh, of the scalp you can From the scalp, usually... it depends on men and women. Yeah, yeah, women, yeah. Usually a, women, we need a fine hair. Mm -hmm. The fine hair, you have to get, you know, from the nape yeah. to the neck here. If you go higher, the hair like that, she's not going to be happy. Yeah, yeah. But men, men want it, like, like me, I want thick hair. Yes, yes, okay. yes, yes. So you need to get a little bit uh, coarser hair, a bit higher. 
Yeah. Okay. Uh, is it true that uh, that kind of hair, they're growing long and all the time they have to cut it? You have to cut it, you know, right. one, after the hair grow, you know, maybe mm. once a week. You can use the scissor to trim it like this. I advise the patients to trim it from the lateral side first, and then <clears throat> you can comb the body and middle part up and use the scissor to cut it off like this. The eyebrow is, is, uh, is very popular, second from the scalp. Hmm. What does hair transplant mean to you? Because like so many years you're in this business and this is kind of maybe part of your life already. You have, to, you have to like, you have to love, love what you're doing. If you don't love what you're doing, you know, it's no good. No good. Yeah. We have. We have some doctor we train, you know, uh, I don't think you're capable of that. I think this is not for you. We, we, I'm sorry, I, I have to kick you out here. Uh, I'm sorry. Okay, well, I can see that it's not for you. Okay, so I mean, if you love, you know, me, number one, you have to do some research. We do research here right now. We're going to about priest, she's just sending out uh, how many research we're going to have. Is hair, hair transplant permanent? Okay, we our research is. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but the least her name is, you know, uh, hair transplant after a decade, I mean, 10 years, 20 years, 30 years. We pull the patient, come back, and then we cull the hair. And we ask, are you happy? Some people said, if I can have hair transplant for 10 years, I'm happy. Mm -hmm. Even they lose more hair after 10 years. You say, it's nothing permanent, I let you know that. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. we do research the laxity. The laxative the scalp, they all said the looser the scalp, the bigger the scar. It's not true. Yeah. We, we have to accumulate it. the data. We got 30 with average scalp laxity and 30 with very really loose scalp, and the result is not much difference. Okay. We, mm -hmm. we just research. I mean, love what you're doing. Love, you know, what a step. It's not only FUV, FUT. We do a lot of combo right now, yeah. Com combination. Of, mm -hmm. We know that the FUE only is not going to give you a good result. You need a combo, especially you know uh, people with class six. Okay. Mm. You know, get get away with FUE only. Of course, you can get a beard, but it's not enough. Mm -hmm. But FUT, we give you a lot, a lot of graft. You know, we did a lot of two session only, class six. Really, really happy. Mm. But he had a good, good down the hair, even though it's very, very low. But very happy. So, so in, in other words, love you gotta love what you're doing. If you don't if you want to collect the money, no. <laughs> Let's go someplace else. What do you think? Hair transplant can change the life yes. of the person. Yes. Hair transplant can change life. I just hope patient come back. I reborn again. I was born again, doctor. You make my day. You make my life. <laughs> <laughs> you keep birth to me. I was born. <laughs> many, many patients just, I don't have to say nothing, you know, the patient already talk. Yeah. <laughs> the patient walk in. <laughs> yeah, really nice to meet yeah. you guys. Yeah. It's, you really yeah, do good, good question that you ask. Great yeah, yeah. job because I'm yeah. really passionate yeah. about what I do. Yeah. And I feel the same from you, so I ask yeah. you, what is it yeah. from you? For you, 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 you got to love what you improve a little bit, improve a little bit, make a world difference. Improve research, improve the technique, you know, learn. Yeah. Go out, learn something, go to the meeting, discussion. Okay, good. Thank Thanks you. for coming anyway.